breaking news everyone and girl i am shocked i am shaking i am physically shaking right now okay because there are these pieces that just like dropped today we are really trying to understand what does this mean is this true or not what is going to happen but apparently the og of the oc miss vicky gumbleson is being accused of financial elder abuse uh -huh. girl please don't i can't with another criminal please let it not be true okay especially coming from vicky so apparently she is being sued by a 74 year old woman for financial elder abuse now it says over here that she was hit with a bombshell lawsuit accusing her of financial elder abuse and fraud in touch can exclusively report according to court documents obtained by in touch vicky was sued by a woman named diana phil the other defendants in the lawsuit filed in may are listed as alliance life insurance company Coto insurance and financial services and another investment company in her suit diana said for 22 years from 1997 to 2019 her and her husband george field invest 90 percent of their joint network in stocks and mutual funds with a firm in orange county california diane said they were able to leave off their work salaries and pensions and did not need to take money out of this account except to pay taxes to be rich and probably white at this point girl in 2002 george was seriously injured by a physical accident and diane took over control of their finances diane said her and her husband had around six million dollars the money was held in an investment account and a separate account they put money in for their daughter in 2019 diane said she met vicky after her friend scheduled an appointment with with her to talk investment at the meeting diane said vicky was not interested in working with her friend because she did not have at least five hundred thousand dollars to invest diane said vicky told her she could help manage her finances and suggest her investing in alliance annualities Diane said she was not interested in annualities and was more comfortable in the stock market because she and George finances had always been in stock and mutual funds, which she understood. The suit said Vicky told Diane to talk to her partner, Ali, as he had the experience in the stock market and that together they could put her in a safer, diversified plan that will also help lower the taxes she had been paid. Diane said she was interested in her taxes being lower, of course, and agreed to meet with Ali, adding that she later met with Vicky and Ali. According to Diane, they told her they could lower her income taxes and increase future potential financial capital, capital for her children, according to the lawsuit. Around the same time, Diana claimed George Hill to, took a deep dive Looking back, Diane thinks the anguish and trauma she was enduring at this time contributed to her letting herself put her trust in Vicky and Ali, as they seem so sincere and appear to be working for Diane's best interest. She said she started to question why she was paying this yet again, as this was not what Ali had promised. But she went ahead and did it anyways as her husband had recently passed away and she was still mourning his loss and she was recovering from her own hip surgery as approximately april 10 of 2024 the value of diana's alliance 222 ira annuity was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars diane said vicky repeatedly contacted her in march and April of 2024 to remind her of the 100,000 premium payment onto Allianz for her life insurance policy. Vicky wanted to know if Diane would take the money out of her stocks 
and bond accounts so Vicky will get the payment into Alliance for her like she usually did. Diane says she reached out to Alliance directly in April of 2024 to see what the due date was and a representative at Alliance told Diane that she had over $600,000 in her account since she was previously paying $300,000 a year in premiums. She said the Alliance rep told her she did not need to send any payment because of this excess in her account. Diane accused Vicky and Ali of financial elder abuse, claiming they had her enter into harmful deals. Girl, that was a lot of things right there that I'm like, OMG, we need a lawyer. We need a lawyer here to really explain to us what the, what a lot of these things really mean. Uh, like, I understand that, that she feels like Vicky pushed her to do things that she didn't want to do. But, like, where is the proof of that? You know, like, how is she going to, like, tell the world that it, it, it was what actually, in fact, happened? Now, Vicky Gumbelson has not responded to this lawsuit, has not said absolutely anything. Uh, so we stick very much in the air. But right now, as, as this moment, this is what is going on out there. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And with that, we are done for today's show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you want to get your flowers from Rose Forever or the candles from Rose Forever, now you can get it with my own discount. Okay, it's super easy. You just have to go to the link on the description below. You don't have to type anything, just click on the link. The discount will be automatically put in there. Okay, it changed every single week. You can find amazing deals. They ship everywhere. And remember, these are amazing flowers that last up to a year, real flowers, okay? Uh, if you wanna get Liquid IV, also link down there. If you want a personalized message from me to you, you can book me through Cameo and oh you can also get the merch everything girl is down 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 there on the description of this video okay don't forget to uh follow me on my social media you can find me everywhere as real and dph real and dph okay so with that i love you guys don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you tomorrow on another the real andy operation show see ya bye